What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the Elder Scrolls Online. And of course, this is a game that I have played uh, since its release here on console almost 10 years ago now. Been out for 10 years, of course, on PC. This is a game I always come back to playing. I might take, you know, four or five months off, play some other things, maybe a little bit longer. It's been a while since I've played uh, ESO recently, probably about six or seven months. But like I said, it's always a game that I come back to play every year. Uh, with the new expansions and it's something that always just you know keeps my interest you know i may like i said step away and play some other things but at the same time eso is a game that every year i'm always playing for several months out of the year when it comes to the game in general it has changed a lot and there was a recent ign article that was very interesting to me talking about how the game has changed over the last 10 years it's not only that MMO anymore and they don't re even really categorize it as an MMO anymore yes you can still play with people online but this has definitely become a game for single player fans as well so those people that love Skyrim love Oblivion this is definitely a game that uh, has become more of a, of a style for those uh, type of people if you just want to play by yourself because there is so much DLC in the game uh, so much storytelling now that the MMO style or the traditional what you would consider an MMO style game is kind of uh, uh, faded away over the years. Like I said, you still have that in-game community that plays trials, the 12 man trials. You still have people that love to play four man dungeons, uh, the arenas and things that are in the game. So there is still that multiplayer element, even PvP for that matter. But when it comes to someone that just wants to hop in and play the game now, it is definitely a single player driven game as well as a multiplayer driven game which is something that I think uh, is definitely a big change from when the game first released. Now, of course, uh, there's been a lot of you know talk with the developers and things since this is the 10-year anniversary. And that's something that I think they're even uh, you know kind of discussing as of late. Rich Lambert was kind of talking about some things in this interview with IGN, saying they decided to focus on the Elder Scrolls things first and be a multiplayer second. He said once they did that... Uh, it started to you know, change the way or kind of shape the way the game is from the start until how it is today. And that is a pretty interesting theory because if you think about it when the game first released, it was kind of had a rocky start. And then it started picking up steam as the game continued to go on. I'd say around 2015, 2016 is when the player base really started booming. And you've continued to see that player base grow every year. Not everyone's going to play. You know, not everyone's going to come back all the time but you still have a big player base and they've also talked about how much money the game makes being a live service game with two billion dollars in revenue so you're looking at roughly 200 million dollars a year for a game that's been out 10 years and that has really transformed and shaped into something different than it was when it was first released and that is pretty impressive in my mind um just in general the game overall has a lot to offer for a lot of the different player bases like I said whether you're wanting to play by yourself whether you maybe have a friend or two you want to play with or you know a lot of people that play and you join a guild and things like that and you want to play a lot of that in-game content even if you're a pvp fan there's a lot of stuff there that the game has to offer and it's kind of a, a surprise to me of how much the game the game has changed and how well it still does we know there's a lot of games out there that try to change their formula from either multiplayer to more of a single player based style game or vice versa try to go from single player to more of a live service online style game and sometimes that does not work out um i think overall uh the year-long celebration that they're having right now for that 10-year anniversary event is something that is piquing a lot of players interest is getting a lot of new players into the game and also bringing a lot of you know returning players back but during this article uh or during the interview in the article, um, Rich Lambert also said, by the time the 20th anniversary begins, uh, you're not, you're, we're not quite sure uh, what the ESO would be at that point, but he says they are confident that in another decade, the game will still be here. So they're still looking 10 more years out from now. So they're still planning on you know, continuing to grow the game. And in my opinion, in the single player format first so you know there's a lot of players that want to hop in and play you know if, like i said if you're an oblivion or skyrim fan all the way to that you know multiplayer in game kind of fan base as well now that fan base is probably not as large of course as the single player fan base 
But overall, that does kind of transition. A lot of players get into the game, really enjoy it, and start seeing you know people posting you know things in the zone chat and maybe looking for people to play dungeons or trials with, and that gets those single player. Uh, people interested in maybe playing that in-game content, whether it be dungeons, uh, you know, arenas, um, maybe even trials or PvP. So there's definitely a lot of things that can be done for the game in the next 10 years because it looks like they're going to continue to do that. They're still working on some uh, systems to make the experience better, he also kind of mentioned in this article. And I think the one thing they need to do now is because there's so much content and it feels almost overwhelming, I'm sure, for a new player, is continue to work on that you know, kind of idea of when you start the game, how combat works. Um, maybe when you start playing Dungeons or Trials, how those work. If you want to get into that kind of thing, I was kind of hoping they would have a almost practice dungeon or practice trial where you can go in there with some friends and maybe AI or friends and companions and just kind of learn exactly what's going on there, whether it be in a dungeon or a trial. Because, you know, we have that introduction into some of these things, but it's not really explained well uh, now compared to what it would have been if you'd have started the game 10 years ago because there's so much more content in the game. So overall, the Elder Scrolls Online, not only now is that multiplayer game, but even Rich Lambert is saying, you know, they're focusing on the story, the single player part first, and then the multiplayer part second. And I think that is what has made ESO so successful and probably will continue to make it successful for the next however long, you know, 10, 15, 20 years they want to continue making content for the game. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.